Hi everybody, electric drum kits are awesome. I play the Elisa Surge and my son plays it, but every once in a while, the little piezo disc inside the drum goes bad or the connection goes bad. And then you don't get a nice drum roll, you get kind of a, kind of a stuttered sound. So uh, there are some videos about taping, which I did and that lasted about a month with different tapes. So good, but it doesn't last too long. And then there's one about soldering and that's awesome too. But again, that lasts about a month. That's because the wiring is so thin. So uh, what I did is I went online and I got these little uh, piezo geodrum pack of five uh, discs to replace. And so there's what they are. And um, okay, so let's go in the garage and replace it and see if we can get more of a permanent fix. All right, now they're all loose. We're gonna take, uh, take this top piece off, set it off to the side. It's good to keep all your bolts and screws organized so you don't lose stuff. Now we're gonna take off the top pad here set this off to the side so we we have this device here and uh, it's tricky to see but there's the teeny little wires that i have taped and soldered but they've come loose so now we're going to take off this one here different drums are going to have different insides but they're all basically the same so here's the wiring going in and now we're going to take off this part here to get to that little disc right there which we're going to replace it's one of these guys so there's the one down there it's not working because of the connection we're going to replace with that and rewire it so okay let's go to the next step just taking this off i've taken it off before you can see just gonna have to take it out there we go so they're all gonna have some sort of little sensitivity thing with a little piezo disc in there i can leave that there i got some duct tape here from a prior time and you can see I've done some soldering, but that still didn't work. Got a little break in there. Okay, so you notice that there's two kind of tr trigger uh, piezo discs. There's one way down inside there, which that one's fine because that doesn't take the shock of all the hits. And there's this one that sits right on top here. This is the one we're gonna replace. All I'm gonna do is snip this one right here, connecting to this piece. And then I'm gonna kind of connect it back up and then put the new piezo disc here. Now that I've cut this, these two little wires are kind of bonded together. No big deal. I'm going to take it, just take a little X-Acto knife and split it and then pull them apart. Now I'm going to get a wire stripper, strip off some, from each side there. All right, and now I don't need all the length of the wire from this one that I got in the mail here, so I'm gonna cut some and strip again some off the end of there. Okay, so I've taken all the old piezo disc off and put the new one on, but boy, it was quite the deal to get this one off. After I had lifted it up, and the goal is to get that one off, it's taped on there pretty good, so what I did is I used kind of an X-Acto knife just to get the edges started, which is a little tricky, then I used a screwdriver and just slowly work it in and just pry it off. Uh, and then once I took that off, I put the new one on and I just use Gorilla Glue. If you're gonna use some kind of glue, make sure you get the one with no foam. You don't want a lot of space between this little piezo element and this thin little piece of plastic. So uh, now the question is, which wires to hook up? So from what they have here, which is amazing, these are super small, there's a red and black. So if you look at the old, the way I'm going to do it, if you look at the old element that's on there, you can see that the red, the red wire goes, was soldered on. There's kind of a bump. You can kind of feel it. It was the middle. The black one is soldered on right on the edge. So that's equivalent to this one here going to the middle. So I'll do that, hook that one up to red and I'll hook this one up to black. Okay, so I'll meet you on the next step. Oh, also when you take take it off, some of that phone rips off because that's glued on, they're pretty heavy. But when you buy your piezo elements online, it comes with a lot of these little uh, kind of stickers with tape on it. So I'm gonna tape on one here, just make it a little bit thicker because likely this distance, this pad here needs to be a certain level up to hit the top of the drum, the snare. Okay, so I'll glue one on here. I'm gonna connect these up and I'll catch up to you in just a second. Actually, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. And I decided to use a wire connector also. So this one is the black. And this one I trace back to that far piece. So this is black. I'm just going to wrap these together. I've stripped them 
pretty good. Just a two centimeters, three centimeters. Gonna wrap them together. Get my little wire connector. You probably can use just electrical tape, but I really wanna make sure they stay together. Gonna screw that on. Now I'm probably gonna get some electrical tape just to make sure that stays uh, nice and tight and stays together because when you're hitting the drum really hard, uh, of course, it's going to want to jar everything around. And I think that's why these things don't last very long because those wires are so super thin. So many hits to a snare drum. And of course, it's going to fall apart at, in time. Okay, so I'll do the other one now too. Okay, so now I've got my two sets of wires uh, together with a wire connector and electrical tape. And I'm going to duct tape it down there. This may be way overkill, but I've done this about five times and I don't really want to do it again. It takes a lot of time to take all this stuff apart. So I'm just gonna really make sure these wires stay together, they stay in there, and hopefully I don't have to do this again. I'm pretty sure I won't, because that's a, these are much thicker wires going from these uh, things you buy online, these piezo elements when you get them online. Okay, so now I'm going to attach this back on there and put the drum head back on. Okay, one last tip, just uh, this, this is about assembling, so these little Things they give you to put on and off are great, these little wrenches, but boy, they take a long time to do them by hand like this forever. So I just got a clamp, I think at Lowe's or Home Depot. I put this on like, like that, and then I can turn it just so much faster. Okay, that's one last little tip. All right, so I'll put back together. Let's check it out. Let's plug it in, and we'll see. Awesome, okay, so it's fixed. Now we can do the drum roll again. So I got the sensitivity back. Okay, so the my recommendation, uh, it's just worth ordering one of the piezo elements if yours goes out. You can put it together with a tape or solder, but that's a relatively temporary fix. It's gonna bust again, because those wires are just so thin. Uh, and once you do it a couple times, it gets very annoying. So maybe on your second or third time, or whatever, just swap it out with the nice thick wires, and I doubt you're gonna have this problem again. All right, so good luck, good jamming, and thanks for watching.